What's going on, everybody? Quick mail day. Got two days before the Louisville show, so I'm over here pricing stuff out and getting things ready to go. But I did get some mail come in, and I would really expect this stuff to come in as quick because it's been very, very slow with the holidays. I was thinking this stuff would make it here Saturday, and lo and behold, it showed up on Thursday. So not bad. All right, so first, we had a Panini. Um... Redemption actually came in. Brees Hall, still sealed. It's the Select RPA, I believe, or I don't know, Horizontal. Let me see what this card says in the back. So this is Rookie Signature Memorabilia, so not the RPA. So, been waiting, I don't know, I'm guessing four or five months, probably four, maybe six. I have no idea. It's been a while. So something different there. Probably go off to somewhere. I don't know where. Up next was a pickup I got off of Zoom. Gunner Henderson. <laughs> you should see this thing has dropped. The first one sold at 176. I think the next one was in the 130s. Way down. Luckily, I'm not into it very heavy. So I am happy with that piece on to it. Huh. I don't notice it. They're using those new cut sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I guess you can there's a new company that's cutting the edges on the sleeves on one end, so when you put it in, you're not digging quarters. This was already done a long time ago. If you guys broke with me way back in 17, I actually had a ton of these we were using for Bowman Chrome. Then, of course, they threw in a bunch of other Gunnar Henderson cards. So, from Museum as well, too. Those will probably be something like Com C down the road. Finally, my pickup from Golden. And I've been preaching this now probably for about two weeks. If you go on Golden's Auctions and you buy something and it's held by Golden Auctions, plan on three to four weeks till you see that card. So if you're looking to flip, that's not the place for you to go. Now, I've been limiting myself to just what's in the PSA vault. Unless it's something like I really, 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 really. That's enough really, huh? One for my PC. This was actually a PC card. It brought back that nostalgic piece to me. How'd that move? Yeah, that card moves in there. Huh. I have to be careful with it. So this is the 91 Upper Deck Heroes. It is number 25, Brad Hall. 8 with a 9 auto. The reason it got 9 is because... Wait a minute. I thought the slash went off the card. Must not be it. Oh, he was streaky up here. These were... You'll see a lot of 9 autos on this card. Um, I could just send it back in, get the 8, and then just say oof on the auto. But I'll take it for myself. Uh, as you guys see, I've been starting to pick these up because they're pretty cool cards. Uh, just bring back what I had from my childhood. Yes, in 1991, I probably was, I don't know, somewhere around like 14, 15. So, pretty cool piece right there. But, oh, you know what? There was no... Oh, there was one football card. Woo! Save myself, Wildcat. Thankfully, I had one football card to show you today. I didn't have any football for you for once. Well, not for once, but I've been trying to keep it that way. Well, keep it that way. There's at least a football card. Um, other than that, I gotta get stuff, guys, set up for Saturday for the Louisville Card Show. Last one I'm set up for the year. Next year it'll be, I want to say it's January 14th. It's the Sunday before Martin Luther King Day. I will be up in. Martinsville, Indiana. Um, first time the guys were on a show there, so I'm coming in at least to see how the first time show goes. Maybe some different people, some different vendors. We'll see how that goes there. And then there'll be one right around when I say stop for tax season, um, with because I still do some uh, clients I've had through the years. Probably looking like somewhere in April I'll do a show. Maybe beginning of May, somewhere in that time for even then. The Midwest Monster 2014. We set up there for two days. You guys come to that, definitely come by and say hello, because I'll be losing my mind up there probably. Um, sitting behind there for two days behind the booth. But other than that, guys, take care. Have a good weekend. I should have a couple more videos coming out. I'll try to get a little more recording going on during... This card show uh, in Louisville. My idea is to go in, set everything up, but not put any cards out, and then go value box hunting for a little bit, then throw my cards out. We'll see how that works. Uh, it's not like I'm in a big push. So i got to hurry up and sell a lot of this stuff. But 
at least want to try to get some out there to, you know, if I buy there, that I could kind of like not come out of my pocket. So basically, I sell something, buy something to, you know, cover up the cost onto it. All right, I'm out. I'm jibber jabbering too much. You guys, take care.